I keep getting booted out. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, hopefully, oh, yeah, I, I got it booted as well. So hopefully we can stay in. All right. Yes, and the recording has started, so that was just great. But hello. Uh, Halo Andy and I are going to be commentating a tiebreaker match, if we can stay in the table. Uh, tiebreaker match. Oh. And, and say that they... Yeah. Can you ping Munster and, and uh, have the table settings allow us in? Yeah. Um, All right. But yeah, so anyway. Uh, if we can, uh, <laughs> if if we can get in, we'll be we'll be commentating a, a tiebreaker match for. Um, oh shoot! What division is Munster? It's it's an H, um, but right now I believe the uh, standings they are Philip VN one and Munster Cheese are tied at. Ah, there we go. Tied at sixteen fourteen. Unless I am speaking lies. But yeah. So this will be uh, two games unless it goes 1-1. One, one. So yeah, this is a, a tiebreaker in, uh, I believe, H. Uh, for the end, and Minster Cheese are high. Standings and they were also tied head to head, so this is a, a tiebreaker match. Uh, technically, best of, uh, best of three, so I guess first to, to 1.5 points. Uh, yeah, random first player, two games, alternating, and then random in third game. And if it's tied, the second place player will advance. So, it should be it, exciting. This is yes. Thank you for explaining that better. <laughs> yes. I had to read up beforehand, so it's all good. Nice. It looks like we should be starting. All right. So, all right. So we got an interesting, uh, interesting team in here. Um, we have uh, a lot of good people here. So this looks like a wonderful board for me. The only thing is there is no good trash in the board. Uh, the board looks strong enough, but I think you just uh, kind of ignore that and make it work. And with next turning on barges, you can kind of deal with the fact that you're not uh, trashing that well. Um, you, know, you just make sure you play some barges, uh, at least one barge at the end of your turn and next turn. And then you should be pretty well set up. There's a bunch of scoring that you can do with, with groundskeeper, workshop, and things, king's court, and things. So I just kind of want to build, 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 build. Yeah, this this looks like a like a great great kingdom for building. Crowning king's courts, king's court and crowns, all sorts of uh, fun stuff to do. <laughs> Yeah, in terms of just like getting playing lots of things yeah absolutely and uh we're gonna need some money payload it's only non uh, money payload is uh navigator which is uh, not a great card so you're, you're probably gonna have a few silvers and golds in the um, yeah you can go from there so what, what do we want what do we want to make um i, re I really want to get uh, I really want to get some barge work going. That, that's kind of like the key card here. That's your draw and your plus draw. You know, all, all the other cards can work out. They can wait. You know, eventually I might want to workshop. Um, this is a lot of uh, three and four cost cards that are great. So, you know, being some other things for reliability we hadn't mentioned yet. Right, so, yes. Scheming a king's court in a scheme pretty much means that like you're guaranteed to kick off next turn too. So you might not even need the next turn of barge. You know, if you uh, can score a scheme each turn, uh, that's another thing you can do here. So, yeah, I, I kind of like trying to get to get the barge to get started. Um, 
Yeah, that sounds good. And, uh, yeah. I don't like because they're they're good cards for later in the game, uh, but they're not they're not helping you hit any price points right now. And the price points I really want to hit are five and then eventually seven and fifteen. So uh, Munster has gotten the board in the so that's, that's a great start. Uh, Philip brought uh, in Navigator on turn four, and then was able to top deck Man Village to be able to drop back to the Navigator. So, I mean, that seems kind of nice, but a lot of it is generated. But it's just Terminal Silver, and the looking at your next five cards doesn't really do all that much for you. Yeah, especially since uh, only option is to just, like, discard them all or keep them all. Then, yeah, like, you can't, like, pick and choose, like, with cartographer. Or Night Watchman, which is, I think, the better version of Navigator. Um, yeah. But uh, Philip Vian one seems to seems to be believing in the in the Navigators. Yep. Um, and so they they were able to set that up to get a bard on uh, on turn turn four, and then they were able to play it on turn five, so that was good. Munster Chief picked up a second barge, so I like that as well. Definitely want a few barges. Philip's um, already so got a King's Court, though. Yeah, that's good. And they do have a lot of actions to use with it, so so despite um, my thoughts on it, uh, Philip does look to be doing pretty well right now. They have a lot of actions, and they have a King's Court for the deck right now, so they're looking pretty good. Munster is also picking up the King's Court, so that's also looking good. Uh, Munster picked up Silver on turn 6, which I didn't really like. No, I like the first two Silvers, but now I really want to be adding more actions to the King's Court. Right, yeah. That's, yeah. that's what I want to do. So I want to start thinking about, you know, maybe getting picking up a workshop, add, add a bunch of, a bunch of uh, action cards, just to keep King's Courting things. All right. So what goes for the early problem on eight? Uh, maybe not that early, but on this board, you really don't have to. Like, you never even have to touch provinces here. You know, if, if I'm in Munster's position and I see my opponent go for provinces, I say, fine, you know, they can take eight provinces. You know, let them take seven provinces while I keep building, building, building with groundskeepers. And groundskeeper is, is a great card for all PP, and it, you know, I really just, if I see my opponent starting to early game, I'm going to go towards groundskeepers, which I think is the better strategy here. Just see some groundskeepers play a bunch of them and pick up the states, and if you have 10 groundskeepers in play, each estate's effectively a colony of the old VP in addition to its main point. Yeah. Question is, though, can you uh, just build up fast enough? Because I think, I think uh, Philip's plan is going to be just... Uh, be king's courting navigators and then uh you kind of don't need to worry about what early greening will do to destroy your deck just because like at least like the benefit of navigator there is uh i know this next hand is going to be terrible so i can just chuck it and then if uh the next hand after like if it's king's courted then you can see oh like next hand after that's also going to be terrible chuck it so uh that that's a potential threat it's some consideration, but if you notice, so Philip, Philip Province on turn eight, and then couldn't hit Province again on turn nine, uh, bought a groundskeeper, which is good, but I'd rather have the groundskeeper before I go. Right, and yeah. Turn ten, missed again, got a gold, which I also don't think you need to do. Like, once you get to seven dollars for ground for King's Court consistently, like, that's all you really need in terms of money here. You know, I, I want to be adding, uh, Someone added a workshop. Yep, Munster just added a King's Court to workshop. I really like that. Because if I King's Court a workshop, I can pick up three little components. And I can pick up some schemes, which are great, some mountain villages. Uh, I don't think you really need mining village here. I mean, mining village is probably just better. But at, you know, adding schemes, workshops, mountain villages, maybe patricians. I don't really think patrician employees are important here. Um, but it's something, I think so, and then you see Munster was able to start the next turn, um, the, the 
kicked with a barge back, but it's just great. And so now they're going to be drawing deck easily here. So we could even get some game play action coming up with uh, having uh, draw cards coming in. Yeah. So as, as Munster, I want to get another King's Court. I really want to keep changing some things. So probably like like a King's Court and a Crown here, maybe. I don't think you really need the Groundskeeper yet. Yeah, and then one one. Uh, I guess Kings Court Groundskeeper. Go ahead. One one note on order of play too. Uh, Munster had the opportunity to Kings Court Kings Court, um, which would have uh, allowed them to play uh, to triple their work, uh, playing their workshop. Um, so could have could have picked up a few villages or had like village scheme, patrician something like that. Yeah, as well. To like King's Court, King's Court, King's Court, King's Court, but like two King's Courts in a row starts off the chain. So especially yeah. right here for Munster, you could like, uh, I'd have to look in the map better to see whether you want to King the Crown the King or Crown the King the King. Either way, Munster is going to like pop off really strong on this next turn. So yeah. like, I'm thinking like, yeah, King, King, Crown looks good. Either scheme or barge, I mean, they're both fine. Um, and then play the workshop, pick up three things, including some more workshops. And then, like, you know, you can stack your deck to set that up every time. Yeah. Um, I mean, as, as yeah. you as you told me, like, uh, King's Court, King's Court just uh, generates its own actions. So, like, I think probably, like, wouldn't have even needed to uh, King's Court a scheme here. Um, although may, maybe they would have just to... Uh, make sure they they drew it, but other otherwise, like, yeah, like it's it's pretty powerful there. Yeah. Um, so, so Munster's kind of light on payroll right now. Is the main thing. I mean, you can pick that up via like silvers with workshops, but I kind of I kind of want some more workshops to really get this going because that, that's the the end game I'm looking for here is a three pile of uh, estates and two other piles with a bunch of groundskeepers in play. And, you know, you, you have enough of a combo that you can do like the ones for the to, like, stack their next hand to these three kings towards a barge and a scheme. So, like, yeah. You're never going to dud. So, like, I'm not worried about having a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stock cards in my deck. You know, I could, I can have five workshops in my deck and it's not a problem. And then I just pile out whatever. Like, because I king's court, king's court, five workshops and I have 15 games and I just kind of do whatever I want to end the game. Right. So, I think it's Munster. Like, I want to get more groundskeepers, but I also want to build some more with workshops here. It's like, there's just no way Philip's going to empty eight provinces before Munster can, can three pile if you're doing kind of whatever they want. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I kind of want to be. I don't see the need to gain patricians. I would like to be gaining more workshops. Christmas. Yeah. Don't really do anything at this point. Like, you already have deck control. Like, you can just scheme King's Courts and Barges. Like, no real issue here. Um, but yeah, I guess now you pick up, like, uh, how much money you have? You can get three more groundskeepers. That's pretty good. Um, just as many groundskeepers as you can get right now. Yeah, that would be good. Cause yeah, true. And then once you get more, once you get more workshops, and you can just start kings courting those for uh, estates. And uh, after after you have the groundskeepers in play, and that will that will score many points. <laughs> yeah, I don't really think Munster even needs like more kings courts. I mean, you already have three, and so kings courting a kings court a kings court is already getting you uh, effectively. Uh, what's the math on that? Three plus two plus that's like at least seven king, I believe that's seven king's court plays already. Like, I don't really need that many more king's court plays. Uh, so like, money is the real limitation right now in this. Game. Yeah, like if you want to get you know six ground keepers next turn, which I want to, I'm gonna need to have thirty dollars in my deck, which I don't have yet as an so, right? More. You don't really need more payload. Like, you can pick up the groundskeepers over two turns. That's fine. But really, like, workshops, because I want to grab all eight estates at once. 
Yeah. Um, for as many as I can. So right now, just getting groundskeepers and workshops and whatever payload I need to get for. All right. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it looks looks like I was I was wrong to be worried about uh, Phillips Phillips early rush. Um, yeah, because uh, Munster, Munster's building it, as long as as long as they keep it up, Munster's building uh, can can take it. Yeah, I mean, I don't really need ten groundskeepers, but if my opponent's not fighting me for them, I'd rather have more than three to their one right now. Right. Yeah. So I really want to workshop a workshop here, and then get another workshop in play. I have like three workshops or something. Yeah, I just don't really see the need for all these mining villages. I mean, you can like pop them for money at the end, but you don't really need money either. Yeah. Groundskeepers and pile crusher. Those are the main two things I want right now. Yeah, at this point, you kind of don't even need villages at all, just because yeah, uh, you have seventeen actions right now, and then we have even more. Yeah, what what terminals are you trying to play here? Yeah. The Adam being like the prize from the tournament that gives you a right. Yes. Oh yeah. So, I mean, yeah, that works. But you also could have workshops at workshops for sailors. Like, there's just no question of drawing deck in this board. Like, it's just not an issue of drawing deck. I could have 40 silvers in this deck and still draw it. Like, it's just not an issue. You know? Like, yeah. You could have 40 silvers in this deck, and that's pretty easy to draw, like, with kings courting barges. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> grabbing money villages to pop them is not great, but yeah. here we are, so. Um, yeah, I would, I would have wanted Bunster to take a workshop and five groundskeepers right there. Yeah, but that's definitely what I was thinking. Workshop and five grounds keepers. The important ones are just kind of like meh. Like they're something, but they're not doing anything. I got. I want more grounds keepers. Grab another ground. All right. There we go. So we, All right. We got the workshop and the grounds keeper. Unfortunately, we spent twenty dollars on Emporia, which I mean it's eight points, but so is like seven grounds keepers in the state. So. Yeah, but that's kind of where I want to get to. In either way, Munster looks pretty well. Ahead. They just have so much better. Yeah. And Philip might be able to double province on a good turn, but even that looks difficult. Yeah, I maybe I I don't know. It it just doesn't seem like uh, like uh, they can get the consistency to be able to like pull up a barge and play a navigator enough. Um, or draw enough treasures, um, because this, I believe, Philip has two golds, um, yeah. as well, so. Yeah, I just meant, like, kind of worst case scenario. Like, yeah. The like, in the best possible, uh, turn, Philip could maybe get double province. Oh, and <laughs> Munster's starting to, is, oh, is this, are they, are they going for it? I mean, this should win. Yeah, this wins. Yeah. Just into the estates. This wins. All right. So not quite as much building as we wanted from Munster, but th this will work. This is sort of like this slightly. Um, yeah, I mean, you can grab provinces too. That works. So that's what I wanted. I just think Munster sort of didn't quite go the most direct route. Um, like, yeah. I think the Patrician Emporium was. Uh, a little out of the way and not necessary um and probably wanted to go a little faster for groundskeepers but o overall uh good job on the build there monster that was definitely a board for huge building i mean 72 points in 15 turns even things like like you know masterpiece guild hall would be like struggling to beat something like that so all right off to game two okay so we'll, uh, village limit, well, I mean, snowy village, but that's kind of a tough village to use, but until champion, um, then, yeah, so cha champion's gonna be, gonna be important, for sure, um, you could potentially, 
Do you, well, do you, once Champion starts, do you think there could be anything interesting with, like, Ranger Storeroom? Um, like, that, obviously, you can't do that until after Champion, but... Um, I like, I definitely want Rangers... Um, Alright, so, so we can... Right, yeah. There's, like, the strategy of the overall building of the tactics that we get there. So let's talk about the tactics really quick, because that's going to happen right now. So we've got a Traveler page. We definitely want to get up to Champion because we're terminal limited. Um, there's also Night Watchmen. So I definitely, if I can, I want to open like Page Night Watchmen in order to trigger a shuffle with the page in it and and get the page in a, in a small shuffle for next turn. That looks great to get a move. Um, and then after that, so we, we see a Spice Merchant. Spice Merchant's not bad for thinning. Um, but I think Page Night Watchman is a better open, uh, a better open there, um, in order to get yourself moving along a little bit faster. On yeah. This chain. Um, and then so we, we were talking a little bit about the overall index. So so goal one is get something. Yes. You need to do that before any of this works. You're very village limited before that. Essentially, we have Snowy Village and Golem, and it, you shouldn't be touching Golem on this deck for many reasons. Yeah. And Snowy Village is kind of, you know, maybe you might get one or two beforehand, just to, like, help prevent any uh, collisions. Um, but it's, it's probably not that great right now. Um, but once the deck gets set up, I just want every ranger. Yes. Every ranger. Yeah. <laughs> um... And then you can even use treasure hunters and heroes to keep flooding money into your deck. Uh, Lucky Coin, I would probably be playing it as little as possible um, at the start. All right, so Munster just just did what we were recommending. So Munster, yeah. with the Night Watchman on this next turn, can play the page, draw one card, get to a zero card uh, left in the draw pile, play the treasure hunter, play the mer Spice Merchant uh, for plus buy, uh, and they could even save the lucky coin and keep it out of the shuffle. So, like, that would be a really good turn for Munster in order to, to advance the pages, crash a card, and keep a lucky coin out of the shuffle. So, yeah, Munster got the night last time. I just think, I, I think it would have been on turn two. Yeah. His turn two, you, you could have perfectly set up <laughs> in order to play the page on turn two uh, and trigger a clean shuffle on turn three or a treasure on turn three. That would have been a little fun. Ooh. And, yeah, and Munster just triggered a kind of a bad shuffle there. Um, both the uh, Warrior and Fre Fresh Warrior and Treasure Hunter missed, so... Yeah, so Munster should have... I mean, at least they have the Night Watchman here, so they can... It's, it's like a turn slower, because this turn just kind of a waste of the Night Watchman turning it up. Um, yeah, they should have played the Spice Mission for plus buy. Um, rather than for drawing. Drawing didn't do anything there, because everything you wanted in the next shuffle was already in the way. Um, so yeah, I would have done that for a plus buy. Yeah. Um, but here we can we can sort of mitigate that with the Night Watchman. So we just want to make sure we see uh, the Treasure Hunter and the Warrior, and make sure we have two cards left to draw in order to get two Warrior hits and keep the two moving along. Um, um. Okay, uh, and so also it looks like uh, Philip decided to skip Page. Um, I was just about to mention that. Uh, I think that's not correct. Yeah, um, and even like just taking a Treasure Hunter at least is going to help money. Like if you're going to play money, help you help you play money better. Yeah, I mean fools on the board, so there is some inclination towards money with the uh, lucky coin. Uh, but it's just not going to be fast enough. I mean, your opponent can just grab five warriors and completely trash, like, all your three and four cost cards if they want. You know, like, you just, you're not going to be able to keep up with it. Yeah. Um, without doing it. So, on the last turn, Munster played the Night Watchman. Uh, I would have discarded a little more than they did, because now the warrior is going to miss the shuffle. Mm. There wasn't really a good way to guarantee that you could play the warrior and have it not miss the shuffle. Uh, but you could have gotten it down to only two cards left in the draw pile, which would have been better. Right. Um, uh, I also would have... Yeah, I mean, you couldn't get it down for a zero. You could have had a five six, 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 Um Also, I don't like the ranger this early. Like, you don't have a village, so you can't really play the ranger next time unless you're really keeping track of your shuffles. But... 
Uh, looks like Philip did get the page. Now, yeah. Um, they have a raider, which looks, frankly, fairly useless on this board. Um, but they did get the page a little late, but they're going to be on it. So, Monster's up to two warriors. Uh, and Philip has a treasure. So, moving along. All right, Monster's going to be spice moving. And uh, they unfortunately have this pretty rough game with the, uh... They took a pretty rough hit gaining three silvers off the treasure hunter, um, but they're doing a decent job of playing these spice merchants to trash. Um, I probably would have done one more spice merchant last turn to trash a monster. I'm not sure why we didn't do that. Maybe there was a price point they wanted to hit to get another ranger. I don't know, it's a little bit Yeah. It's a, I mean, it's a bit of a balance because you want to like have your deck ready once you hit champion, but. Uh, I guess I already have one hero, so leaving that is fine. Yeah. Okay. I would maybe advance them both to hero. Like, I think that's fine too. Like, leaving it as warrior is not really any good because, like, your main draw is just going to be a Right. But, uh, yeah, keeping keeping around a second warrior, like, if they happen to, well, actually, probably because of keeping the second warrior, that's going to just collide hero and warrior, um, but at least, uh, since Philip is, is so far behind on the, on the page, like, um, returning, I, th I think, uh, it's a good idea to want to keep a warrior just to mess with them. Yeah. I mean, but it's, it's I mean, probably going to backfire, <laughs> especially right now. The attack's fine, but, I mean, right now, Munster should just page, Spice Merchant, Spice Merchant, play the hero, and, you know, I mean, the warrior's there, um, yeah, the warrior's there. Yeah. Uh, get, getting the page up to Treasure Hunter is going to be fine. Uh, again, Munster, I, I would have played the other Spice Merchant. There, was, there wasn't any reason not to draw on. So now you have three cards you don't care about on the top of your deck. I want that down to one card I don't care about the top of your deck. I want to see the champion as quickly as possible. I want to see the champion now, 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 now. And, you know, having three dead cards on the top of your deck is just you not know, that much slower to send it. As soon as you hit champion, you just start popping off line rules all over the place. You, know, you, got, you can do everything you want. Yeah. So, I, I want to I wanna get there. Uh, neither of them touched the snowy village in the interim. Um, but maybe getting one in the interim was okay. Uh, to help avoid some of these criminal prisons we've been seeing, but it's okay to skip it. Uh, one thing just to point out is that Snowy Village has a really bad anti synergy with Champion. Oh, yes. <laughs> I found that out the hard way. <laughs> Champion essentially gives you infinite uh, actions, but Snowy Village still stops that in, in its tracks. So if you play yes. Snowy Village, you're, uh, you're not going to get any more actions off of, off of Champion. You get so four more, so. so. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. sometimes that, that really doesn't matter because, like, sometimes you're generating a bunch of actions and it doesn't really matter. But here, like, it's not really that many cards with plus action <laughs> that are going to be, like, moving you along to, to ban. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, so Night Watchman, once going to be able to keep the champion. Yeah, just say discard the estate, you know, use Spice Merchant to trash. And now I, I just want all the rangers and probably uh, lead a treasure hunter. I don't mind sweating silvers at this point because um, I want... Uh, I'm gonna want some payload. Uh, I wouldn't have gotten the problem there. You know, yeah, it so seemed a little good. early. Yep. For both of them. If I a $9 Ranger, I would have bought for Monster. I think a $9 <laughs> Ranger would have been fine there. Like, uh, I mean, well, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I might have done the Spice Merchant for plus five, but I drawn this fine too because you really want to find some cards. So, yeah. So, uh, also, uh, Philip, uh, Philip went for a Golem as well. Um, so I think that will probably hurt in the long run because most, most of their, uh, economy is, is in treasures. Um, so I'm going to have to be really hoping to hit those, uh, hit those rangers with that. Yeah, Golem's tough because, I mean, for a lot of reasons. One, it's expensive. Um, you have to get the potion, which is like another silver, and then you have to have four dollars with it. It's really, it's tough to get. So it's pretty situational if you ever want Golem. So right now, I'd, I'd go triple ranger right here, like, like triple ranger, you, you have, you have a, you're leading on building, you know, you 
have your warriors. You just trash their cards with these warriors. You know, you, you, you build up the more warriors, you just trash their deck. It's fine. It's yeah. You know, I mean, you can't trash all the cards, but the three and four cost cards, which there are a lot of decks. Yeah, mostly silver. Yeah, a lot of silvers. You trash those. Yeah, I think I just wanted all the games. It's like, I'm not worried about. You know, even if I have to take a few duchies, you know, that's fine um, to catch up. Like, I'm not really worried about it. Like, Triple Province is an easy carry if you build that. You know, if you can draw your whole deck and you have a bunch of uh, silvers in it um, from the Lucky Coin and all the, the treasure hunters. So, yeah, so look, if I just had like two more rangers, I'd be drawing the deck right now. That, that's really what I was doing. Yeah. I guess still think Munster's got a nice lead. Um, but yeah, definitely. Would you try to draw on, or I uh, actually I think that's everything. Um, like almost all the draw there. Like maybe there might be a warrior down there. So now you can't even double province. I mean, you probably can double province safely. It's risky though. That probably when you do it, I mean, say both guys are lucky coins at some point, which was I guess okay to do with the spice merchant. But like, I don't know. Maybe maybe adding in a at some point would have been okay to keep putting some money in these decks. Yeah. Because um, right now, even Munster's a little tailored limited. Yeah, uh, no. I mean, I still think that's pretty safe. Province, Duchy, like, there's pretty much no way Philip's deck can uh, be double province here. Um, Although Munster, Munster needs to find a ranger here, so... <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's other cards they can find a Spice Merchant. Um... You know, there's other cards they can find. True, um, true, yeah. But yeah, I just, I really wanted to build a little more before. Yeah. I, mean, I think Munster would have had just infinite pile control, and it would have been fine to build a little more. So, all right, so that was good. They found the Ranger, and they were like, okay. That's one thing about the Ranger. You usually want an even number, and you want to set it so that you need one Ranger to kick off your next turn. It's usually the ideal way to do it. Um, is this a win? One dollar short. Or one dollar short. Um, I mean, you could even just, like, triple duchy right here, like, that's safe. Like, everything's pretty safe right now. Oh. Oh, and there, there we, we go. go. There's the win. There's yeah, the win. The uh, well enough. So, alright. Um, Congratulations, Munster. Munster. Um, promoting to G. Promotion. Uh, promoting to G next season, so congratulations. On that, well played this season by Philip. So they might have a chance to get a free promotion or uh, another playing game. So, like, you know, but overall, very good seasons to both of them. And uh, congratulations! And looking forward to good seasons next year for or not next year. <laughs> In a week, so, two weeks, yeah. <laughs> so basically. Uh, thanks for uh, thanks for hosting my work and uh, nice commentating with you. Thank you, and uh, it was it was great to commentate with you as well. All right, and uh, thank you for watching. So hopefully this is uh, good for good for both of you. Um, sorry if uh, we can't like sorry sorry if we didn't get as much on on you, Philip. But um, yeah, the <laughs> closed hand thing. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm I'm not personally a fan of it but i understand if if you're not comfortable with uh, people watching your watching your hands so um no worries it is what it is with these commentating you know it's it's if you have an open hand it's easier for us to uh to provide comments and suggestions but understood that in some of the uh, the league uh tiers people want to play with the closed hand and you know, it's, yeah it's understandable people are allowed to and, and uh tiers hopefully hopefully either way the like comment comments were were helpful because uh I don't, it applies for both building building where possible is is generally a good thing so yep. so yeah um but yeah um so i guess then that uh monster see you in g uh philip good luck with the next season as well and uh have a good night thanks all right.